RFID, an invention that have quietly revolutionized the way we track, identify, and secure just about everything. You've probably interacted with RFID technology today without even realizing it. Maybe you tapped a key card to enter a building, used a contactless credit card to pay for coffee, or walked out of a store without the cashier scanning each item because the system already knew what you were buying. But what exactly is RFID and how does it work? Let's break it down. Right here on History of Simple Things. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. At its core, it's a technology that uses radio waves to transfer data between a tag and a reader. Think of it as a wireless barcode system, but way smarter. Unlike barcodes, which require a direct line of sight to be scanned, RFID tags can be read from a distance and through materials like plastic or cardboard. This makes them incredibly useful for a wide range of applications, from inventory management to security and even pet tracking. The technology itself has been around since World War II, when it was used to identify friendly aircraft, but it has since evolved into a system used in everyday life. So how does it actually work? An RFID system consists of two main components, the RFID tag and the RFID reader. The tag contains a microchip that stores information and an antenna that transmits data. There are two main types of tags, passive and active. Passive tags don't have their own power source and rely on the reader's signal to activate them. They're smaller, cheaper, and commonly found in things like key cards, clothing tags, and library books. Active tags, on the other hand, have their own battery and can transmit data over longer distances. These are often used for tracking vehicles, monitoring shipments, and even tagging livestock to keep track of them over large areas. The RFID reader is the second major component. It emits radio waves that communicate with nearby RFID tags. When a tag enters the reader's range, it responds by sending back its stored data which the reader then processes. This exchange happens almost instantly, making RFID technology much faster than traditional barcode scanning. Some readers are handheld, like the ones used by store employees to scan inventory, while others are fixed, such as those at toll booths or warehouse entrances, automatically detecting tagged items as they pass through. One of RFID's biggest advantages is automation. Because RFID systems don't require a direct line of sight, they allow businesses to scan multiple items at once without stopping to check each one individually. Imagine a warehouse where workers don't need to manually count inventory. RFID can instantly track stock levels and update records in real time. Retailers use it to reduce theft by tracking products throughout a store, and logistics companies rely on it to monitor shipments as they move through supply chains. Even theme parks have jumped on board, using RFID wristbands to grant access to rides, store guest information, and even make purchases without needing cash or a credit card. RFID is also used in security and identification. Many modern passports contain RFID chips that store biometric data, allowing for quick verification at airport checkpoints. Credit and debit cards equipped with RFID enable contactless payments, making transactions faster and more convenient. But with convenience come security concerns. Since RFID data is transmitted wirelessly, there's the potential for hackers to intercept it using a technique called skimming. This is why RFID blocking wallets and card sleeves have become popular as they prevent unauthorized scanning of personal information. Beyond retail and security, RFID is making an impact in healthcare. 
Hospitals use RFID to track medical equipment, reduce errors in patient identification, and even monitor the temperature of sensitive medications. Patients can wear RFID-enabled wristbands that store medical history, ensuring doctors have quick access to important health data. Another interesting use of RFID is in transportation and toll collection. Many highways use RFID-based electronic toll collection systems that allow drivers to pass through toll booths without stopping. A small RFID tag on the windshield communicates with sensors, automatically deducting the toll from a preloaded account. This not only saves time, but also reduces traffic congestion. Similarly, public transportation systems use RFID-enabled cards for quick and easy fare payments, eliminating the need for physical tickets or cash transactions. Despite all these benefits, RFID isn't without its limitations. One of the biggest challenges is interference. Since RFID relies on radio waves, other electronic devices, metal surfaces, and even water can sometimes disrupt signals. This is why some RFID systems struggle in environments with a lot of metal shelving or dense electronic equipment. Additionally, while RFID can improve efficiency, the cost of implementing these systems, especially active RFID tags and large-scale readers, can be high. Businesses need to weigh the costs against the benefits before fully committing to RFID integration. In a world that's becoming increasingly connected, RFID is playing a crucial role in how we interact with everyday objects. It's making payments faster, travel smoother, inventory tracking more efficient, and security tighter. Whether it's in your wallet, your workplace, or even your pet, RFID is everywhere, quietly making life more convenient. So next time you tap your cart at the grocery store or breeze through a toll booth without stopping, take a moment to appreciate the tiny yet powerful technology working behind the scenes. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.